I told her, okay, can I see the question first and then decide which programming language I choose. So, so she also laughed and said, why? So, so I said that. So, hi everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Aman with us. So, Aman, would you like to introduce yourself once? Yes, uh, I am Aman. I am an undergrad from NIT Rautjela. I graduated 2023. After my graduation, I joined Disney Hotstar as a full-time employee. Before that, I have been interning there. I interned for two two months, summer intern, and then also I interned for six months, the winter intern, and then I joined full-time. Yeah, so he's here to talk about that, like how he cracked Disney Plus all stuff. So tell us your interview experience, man. Like what all happened? How were the rounds and everything? So first was the online round, uh, online coding mm-hmm. test. Uh, as far as I remember, there were two coding questions. One was mm-hmm. a simple question. One was array questions, and the other one was uh, a dynamic programming question. I remember mm-hmm. yes. So uh, I think most of us were able to solve only one question. So I think the cutoff for the two online coding questions were only one question. But the I think deciding factor was the MCQ that was next. MCQ I think there were eighteen twenty questions. MCQ was there, and I think that was the more of a deciding factor uh, for the online round on the coding round. So uh, it is a very general trend if the in an online. uh on campus online coding test uh, if uh, there are uh, if there is a difficult question then uh, the deciding factor then changes to something else of mm-hmm. the test so it was yeah. that in our case or hot stuff i think 8 to 9 people were shortlisted for uh, the next round so it were, it was interviews so uh, there were 1 2 three uh, interview rounds two were technical uh, interviews and one was hr so after four uh, the sequence was if you if your first round of interview goes well you go to the second round or the, then and there after the first round of interview you are told that you don't go ahead for the further rounds so i in my, after my first uh, round of interview uh, he asked me uh, we, it was a very uh, basic interview basic coding interview that happens in tech companies uh, first there was introduction then he introduced himself and then he introdu- uh, he told what he which team he was from and what mm-hmm. they were working on then he asked about my interests and then he came to my resume so he went through the resume and uh, then he asked about my project and asked me to describe what the project was so it was a full stack project it was a mm-hmm. blog website so he asked me all the features that were integrated in that uh, there were a uh, few features four or five features like mm-hmm. server side authentication client side authentication and some more features so he asked about them not in detail just what uh, uh, what was the feature and how did i implement them simple mm-hmm. there was no code review for my uh, projects after that uh, he asked me one uh, basic question one array question was there it uh, it was uh, that a number was given in an array in a form of array uh, i had to write a program to add one to it like plus one okay. but the number was in an array form so that was the first question uh, second question which i remember uh, it had two question my first interview round had two question the second question was uh, uh, i think maximum sum sub array it was a mm-hmm. it was yeah it was based on that maximum sum sub array so yeah it was like easy that was an easier round of interview uh, so when it was done i think 15 to 20 minutes later i was informed that uh, my second interview is going to happen after 10 to 15 minutes then i received the link for the second interview the same in the second interview also uh, we introduced each other and then uh, she went through my resume and asked some basic questions around it mm-hmm. and then in that interview the second interview i only had one question but that was a like a medium tier question uh, if i remember the question it was i had to group all the words which have like the same letter i am forgetting the word but it was like a mid tier question it uh, yeah, it was a, a very uh, interesting interview so she asked me what uh, programming language will you choose to uh, solve the question so she should not yet tell the question so i i told her okay, can i see the question first and then decide which programming <laughs> language i choose so <laughs> so she also laughed and said why so so i said that uh, i'll decide what uh, data mm. structure am i going to use if yeah. i have 
for instance if i'm going to use a dictionary i'll use python <laughs> i don't want to use map <laughs> otherwise yeah. if it's a, like an advanced data structure like a tree or something then i'll use uh, c++ mm. so yeah, she also started laughing then it was a dictionary question only so i used yeah. python so that was it i uh, first i solved it using brute force then we started optimizing that so uh after that after the second interview was over then i was uh, told that uh, another round of interview will be there it was i was not, some i think some of the students also had a third round of interview which was technical interview uh i was told that i will having i will be having an interview but uh, when i joined i came to know that it is a sort of hr round Mm-hmm. so it was a very small interview like 10 to 15 minutes uh so in that interview she asked me like normal like the hr interview what uh, your my future plans uh, and how where did i study and uh, that sort of questions so yeah i had only three rounds of interview for that so the questions that you fa- that you were facing in the interview the dsa questions how would you say were the difficulty of that compared to lead code so uh, i think the first interview the both the question i would say it was easy question mm-hmm. according to lead code and the second one would be a medium question mm-hmm. so yeah uh, i think no one was asked hard question according to what lead codes uh, hard it is i think odds are did not ask a hard question on the on campus interviews yeah yeah so if someone has a good hand in lead code medium then there's a good chance they'll be able to clear through the dsa part yeah. of it right mm. okay okay nice so disney plus hotstar is a pretty good company right and a lot of people are targeting a company like disney plus hotstar so what advice would you give to people who are targeting a company like disney plus hotstar okay so uh i when i was preparing for my uh, placements i never targeted a company and prepared i it was always more of a general preparation mm-hmm. so i always uh, focus on the more uh, basics of programming like mm-hmm. for instance when someone is in college i i feel that uh, they should give a lot of time in their problem solving ab- abilities mm-hmm. which uh, which means they should uh, practice some competitive programming in my college uh, during that time in 2019 2020 it was not uh, very that was not the trend uh, competitive programming was not uh, part of our uh, mm-hmm. uh, computer science uh, not even curriculum also but it was not the trend there i think now it is uh, very better uh, in our mm-hmm. college also yeah. so i think yeah so i think it actually helps a lot when you uh, focus on the problem solving ability because what happens you might Uh, solve 400 500 dsa questions from lead code or maybe gfg but on a bad day you might encounter a question that you have never seen hmm. so on those days your problem solving abilities and your uh, skill to solve a new problem will help hmm. so i think uh, in a general uh, view one should actually practice some problem solving abilities which uh, then i think by doing that you'll also learn a lot of data structures a lot of algorithms mm-hmm. so your dsa is uh, already covered by doing that yeah so i think you get both uh, good of both the worlds by preparing for that and then uh, uh, apart from this then i think one should also actually focus on concepts or the computer science fundamental concepts like operating systems and computer networks and even i'd suggest since college students have a lot of time they should also give some time for system design which mm. uh, would help them in the later years of their career maybe mm-hmm. after one year two year they'll realize what actually it means and how helpful it is knowing a system design yeah. both hld lld so yeah mm-hmm. No, I totally, I totally agree with your advice. Of uh, even I believe, if you're in first year, second year, you should at least try computer programming. Lead code, there's so many problems you cannot do all of them, right? At the end of the day, it matters whether you're able to solve a new problem or not. Otherwise, it's like that you've solved 500 problems. Still, that's not a guarantee you will get the same problem in the interview, right? If you do computer programming, your skills will be on that level. Even if a new problems come, at least you'll be able to think of something, right? Yes, correct. Yeah yeah I think that was the case in my second round the question that I had uh, mm-hmm. I never saw it like I had no clue how to solve it or which data structure I might use so I went the way a competitive programmer solves his question yeah. the approach he might see I I started breaking it breaking it down ki uh, okay let's uh, let's do one thing let's try to solve it how much uh, I know then 
while doing that i realized okay then i can mm. use more data structures i can use python uh, sorry uh, dictionary to uh, yeah. optimize it more so i think that actually helped me in my second round mm-hmm. exactly it's the problem solving skills that matter right okay so i think that covers pretty much everything about disney plus hotstar's interview experience and cracking a company like disney plus hotstar so thanks a lot aman for coming on my channel and sharing your journey i hope it will help a lot of students so thank you Thank you. Thank you everyone.